So Heather, this is Ayusha and today we will learn how to make the selection of pneumatic directional control valve to operate this pneumatic press system. And this is very crucial step because pneumatic directional control valves comes in many varieties like 5x2, 5x3, 3x2 and their selections are totally depend on the type of application. So what we can do to understand our application in better way? First we will try to operate our pneumatic system without any valve and then we will try to understand that which kind of valve will be suitable for our application. Make sense? So in our press system there is dual acting pneumatic cylinder. So let's start with the very basic. So let's say we have to operate the pneumatic cylinder downward. So what we will do? We will connect the compressed air supply to the port A and set the port B to the release to the exhaust. Otherwise, if the air below pneumatic cylinder piston will not release, it will not let the pneumatic cylinder comes down. In the same way, if we want to move the pneumatic cylinder upward, so what we will do? We will connect the compressed air supply to the pneumatic cylinder port B and at the same time we will set the port A to the release to the exhaust. So the conclusion is we have to make a selection of pneumatic directional control valve which can direct the compressed air supply to one of the port of the pneumatic cylinder and at the same time valve can direct the other port to the exhaust. I am repeating, we have to select a pneumatic directional control valve which can direct the compressed air supply to one of the port of the pneumatic cylinder and at the same time valve can direct the other side port to the release to the exhaust. And this same function we can achieve with 5x2 directional control valve. Let's see how. So I am placing a 5x2 directional control valve right here. Now there is a two port on the left side. Let's say this is port 1 and this is port 2 which to be connect with the pneumatic cylinder ports. On the right side there is three ports. Middle port is compressed air supply port. So let's indicate it with the P, P for the pressure and rest of two port are exhaust port E1 and E2. E stand for exhaust. And now let's connect this valve with the pneumatic cylinder. If you are completely beginner and you are wondering what the heck is 5x2 valve, just don't worry, we will go on the definition. But first let's understand how it actually works. So here I am connecting the valve port 1 to the pneumatic cylinder port A and connecting the valve port 2 to the pneumatic cylinder port B using the pneumatic tube, a soft nylon tube. And now let's connect the compressed air supply to the valve port P. So compressed air is going in the pneumatic cylinder port A from valve port P to the valve port 1 and at the same time pneumatic cylinder free air is passing from port P to valve port 2 and valve port 2 is connecting to one of the exhaust port E2. So air is releasing and letting the piston comes down. Now just switch the valve position. So here valve change the direction of compressed air and now compressed air is supplying from pneumatic cylinder port B and and pneumatic cylinder port A is directed to the exhaust port E1 and cylinder goes up. And this is how we can use the 5x2 directional control valve to up and down the pneumatic cylinder. So what is the 5x2 directional control valve? We can say 5x2 directional control valve have 5 ports. 2 ports for the connection of actuator and 2 ports for releasing the air and 1 port for the supply the compressed air and 5x2 valve have two position state. So what is the mean of position state? We can say position state means pneumatic valve have two operating action. For an example, this light have two position. Position 1 is turn off the light. Position 2 is turn on the light. By the way, this light have color option also. So 5x2 valve had two operating state. At position 1, the compressed air supply port P will connect with the port 1 and port 2 will connect with the exhaust port E2 and pneumatic cylinder goes down and position 2 compressed air supply port P will connect with the port 2 and port 1 will connect with the exhaust A and cylinder goes down. But how to switch between the positions like position 1 to position 2 or position 2 to position 1. So pneumatic valves comes in varieties of actuation method. It can be electrical solenoid operated which we can operate using the PLC control system. It can be manually operated where you want to operate the pneumatic system manually to reduce the cost of the machine. And also it comes in air operated and there is many more. 
If we talk about the solenoid valve, it can be AC operated or it can be DC operated. 5x2 solenoid valves comes in double coil and also comes in single coil with a spring return feature. And now I want your closer attention here. In this 5x2 valve with double solenoid, there is two solenoid at the both end. So to switch the position state, we just have to give a signal once to one side of the solenoid and valve a spool mechanism will shift it to signaled side and keep staying at that side until and unless we don't give a signal to other side of the solenoid. But in 5x2 single coil solenoid, there is a solenoid only at one side and at the other side, there is a spring return feature. So by default, the valve spool will shift it towards a spring side position and keep supplying air to the port 1 and it won't change the action position until and unless we supply the electrical signal to the solenoid. But here is the thing, we have to keep supplying on continuously, otherwise valve will back to the default position due to the spring return feature. In that way, 5x2 valves consume more electrical energy. But the advantage is we can save one PLC output because there is only one solenoid. So this is all about the 5x2 directional control valve. And what if, if you want to stop the pneumatic cylinder in somewhere between top and the bottom? Maybe because of any emergency case or it might be a functional requirement also. And for that, we won't use the 5x2 directional control valve. Because 5x2 valves can operate in only two positions. At position 1, the cylinder will go up and at position 2, cylinder will go down. Then we need a third position state where we can stop the pneumatic cylinder. And that we can achieve with 5x3 center closed valve. Let's see how. So I have placed the 5x3 center port close here and there are also 5 ports and their connection method are totally same. But there are 3 position states. 2 position states are completely same as the 5x2 valve and these 2 positions also operate the pneumatic cylinder in the same way as 5x2 solenoid valve do. Pneumatic cylinders up and the down. But there is one middle position state where the compressed air supply is totally closed and also the pneumatic cylinder connection port is closed. So pneumatic cylinder won't move, it will stop when we activate the middle port. And 5x3 center closed valve by default comes in the center closed position state. So to move the pneumatic cylinder, we have to activate the appropriate solenoids. And just for a side note, 5x3 solenoids valves not comes in single coil, it always comes in double coil. You can leave the logic behind it in the comment section. And top of that, 5x3 solenoid valves comes in two more different varieties, center port open and center port pressure. You can use the 5x3 center open to free the pressure within the pneumatic circuit. And you can use the 5x3 center pressure to balance the force within the pneumatic cylinder. And these valves are not applicable for this press system. So we will cover these valves in upcoming projects where we will actually use it. And in this video I have only covered the valve selection which is only applicable for this pneumatic system. But if you want to know in general that what are the other valves and how to draw their symbols without memorizing. What is the pallet valve, what is the spool valve, what is internal operated valve, what is the external operated valve. Please let me know in the comment I can make a complete series on this topic. And now you have complete guide to make the selection of pneumatic control valve for this press application. And please let me know that which kind of valves you are going to use. You can write in the comment section. And now let's try to draw this circuit in completely free to use application scheme editor. You can also download this awesome application just by searching on the Google. So now we are in a scheme editor. This is the drawing area in the middle and on the right side there is symbol library. You can just browse all the categories and you can select any of them and drag it into the drawing area. You can just move it all around the drawing area. You can make it larger or we can make it smaller. And then we have a toolbar at the top. With the toolbar, you can rotate the symbol. You can flip it as per the requirement. And also you can group them, ungroup them, then you can draw the lines and this is super easy. So let's start the drawing of circuit for the hour press system. So here I am dropping the dual acting pneumatic cylinder 
with the magnetic piston and the air cushion and just rotate it and place it on the right side then we have to use the flow control or we can say a speed control so here i am dropping the speed controller and turning it into the meter out position so what is meter in and meter out flow control please let me know in the comment section and just place it near the pneumatic cylinder valve or you can also enlarge the pneumatic cylinder something like this and just place it near to the pneumatic cylinder it will get connected and now just make a copy of this speed controller so how to do that press and hold the control button and drag it and now just connect it with the pneumatic cylinder oops yeah and now i am dropping the 5 by 3 center closed directional control valve and this is all up to you either you want to use the 5 by 3 valve or 5 by 2 valve as per your application and just make it horizontal it's all up to you and just place it somewhere like this and now connect the valve ports to the pneumatic cylinder port and connect this port to the this port and now to supply the constant compressor supply in the circuit we have to use a pressure regulator and additionally we can add a filter module with the regulator and the combination of the filter and regulator we can say it fr unit and top of that we can add a one more module lubricator to mix the lubrication mist into the compressed air to lubricate the actuator moving parts so it can increase the life of the pneumatic cylinders and the combination of filter regulator pressure regulator and the lubricator we can say it frl unit but there is a thing some pneumatic item manufacturing brands recommend do not use the external lubricator in their circuit and their pneumatic cylinders comes with pre-lubrication and they do not require external lubrication if we will provide the external lubrication their pre-lubrication can be damaged and then we have to provide the external lubrication lifelong so always check before using the external lubrication and now i am dropping the fr unit and just connect the fr output to the solenoid valve input and now we should add the silencer into the exhaust port otherwise it will make noise so here i am dropping the silencer and connect with the exhaust port and also make a copy of it and connect it at the other exhaust and now we just have to connect this system with the supply of compressed air so i'm placing the pneumatic source and just place it here uh, you can just connect it like this also okay and before the compressed air supply you can also add the setup valve if required and now our circuit is ready and this is it for this range so just for quick recap we started with a requirement of press fit application then we discussed that where to start the design and we designed the fixture and then we made a selection of pneumatic cylinder as per the given load then we designed the complete system step by step and we designed the complete pneumatic circuit to operate this pneumatic cylinder system and i hope i did my best and you learned something new from this complete series so just enjoy the life stay fit stay healthy thank you very much for the watching